Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro, where we're creating for happier, healthier Christians with love for the Lord our God by studying the Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 130, verses 5 and 6. We come now to the confession section of the psalm. We ended our prayer yesterday by saying, There is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. The Lord's forgiveness, it is fearful, because he doesn't have to, you know. He forgives because of mercy, which is a theme that we're going to see later on in this uh, particular psalm. Well, today we're looking at verses 5 and 6. I hope that you'll allow me to read for you today. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. There are several things here that we need to take up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all this in five minutes, (laughs) so I may go a little longer today. Number one, he says, I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait. So waiting is mentioned there twice in verse five, once in verse verse six. Yeah, so we have it three times in two verses. So he's waiting for something, and his waiting is based on a hope, And and that hope is in the word. We make this calculation all the time. Somebody makes us a promise, and the promise is weighted on that person and who that person is to us and what they mean to us and so forth. They make us a promise. So the promise is for a future deliverance of something, whatever it might be, a candy bar. Okay, let's say person X promises us a candy bar next Tuesday. And we really want that candy bar. I mean, we want to eat that candy bar really bad. So what do we do? Well, person X said they was going to get us a candy bar, so I'm going to believe their promise and hope for the candy bar on Tuesday. So what do I do in the interim? I'm waiting. My waiting, then, is based on a promise which produces hope for something that I will receive. You see how we do that? We do this calculating all the time in our relationships. Here, the psalmist says, I'm waiting for the Lord. My soul waits. In his word do I hope. So the promise of redemption, the promise of forgiveness, the promise of hearing the prayer, all of that is based on his word. And his word is based on his person. So the perfection and holiness and righteousness and eternality of the word of God is based on the person of God who gave it, so now I have the promise that he's going to forgive me, he's going to redeem me, he's going to lift me up out of the dark pit depth that I'm in. He's going to forgive me, all of that. I'm waiting on all of that, and I'm hoping for a future when all of that is resolved and happens, that Tuesday when the candy bar comes. And in the interim, I'm waiting in hope for the thing that's been promised. So here... I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. So that's where the promise exists, is in the word of God. My soul waits for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. Now he's going to describe how firm he is in his waiting. And he does it in a way to remind us that we are still in an ascent psalm. They that watch, they that watch. Notice it's twice in verse 6. And I've said before, there are theme words in the Ascent Psalms, or theme concepts. The watchman is a theme concept. Zion is a theme concept. Jerusalem is a theme concept. So all of these themes are being used. The mountains are a theme concept. They're being used by the psalmist sort of as a string, a golden thread that runs through all the Ascent Psalms to remind us where we are. The watchmen are waiting for the morning, and I say, aha! I am in an ascent psalm, and during my trek to the holy city, this prayer is a prayer that I can pray. This is a part of my daily devotion, living out this kind of praying and hoping for what the Lord might give me, because I compare it to the watchman on the walls. The watchman on the wall is watching for the morning, not because 
he likes to see the sunrise. He's watching for the morning because he is guarding the city. And it, his solemn duty is to guard the city and raise the alarm if there's an attack. And he does it overnight. So he's watching for a morning that will come when there will be light and the danger won't be as great. See, I'm in a depth in a pit and it's dark. And I'm waiting on the promise that the Lord has given me in his word. And I'm hoping for that dawning to come. I'm watching more for the dawning to come than the watchman waits for the dawning to come because I'm hoping for that deliverance. My say, he says there at the end of six, more than they that watch for the morning. Well, I know I went a little bit long today, but man, that's good stuff. Join me tomorrow. We'll we'll finish the confession section with verses seven and eight here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.